my god! It's there and overlooks the... Oh! What's up everybody, it's your favorite idiot CJ Faison bringing you back another camping video where myself and Annabelle I'll feed your ass! Dude, don't do that. Sorry, what? I'm not that mad anymore. <laughs> well, we're gonna go camp tonight. Annabelle, you ain't gonna like this one, sweetheart. This sounds insane and trust me, I did not think that I'd be here at 30 years old camping with a haunted doll, but you know what? I, you know, life leads you in some crazy ways, folks. I've got most of my camping gear all set up. What I'm gonna do this time is a much, much different. Annabelle's gonna be inside of the van and I have something else that we are going to try to ramp up activity. When I say we, I'm talking about me and all of you watching. Now, Chris and his girlfriend are on vacation, Dylan still has a broken foot and Chelsea's at our house in Pennsylvania. So right now, it's just me again. I, I literally feel like I would love to be able to do like a camping video with my friends, but um, you know, all of my friends are uh yeah, no, I'm non-existent at this point in time. So I got the truck pretty much loaded up and ready to go. And without further ado, let's get going. All right, so here's the deal. Um, I almost forgot the Ouija board here inside the house. Anyway, if you know anything about this, you understand like how crazy haunted this was. So this was a Ouija board. It is an original and I've messed with it in some of my videos before, but I've never taken it to the farm. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take this to the farm. I don't know why, but I thought I just saw something move up there. That was really, really weird. Um, I'm tripping out already. I'm gonna take that to the farm. I'm gonna put it inside the house. It's gonna be this new home, okay? I'm not one to claim, oh, I've had paranormal activity inside of my house. What I have. And it's been really weird. I don't know if it stems from that, but we're gonna find out tonight if this stirs up anything inside of the farm or not. This has never, ever, 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 ever been to the farm. Now, to give you all a backstory, this here was an original Ouija board that was in someone's basement. And this old lady, her husband passed away. So she and her, one of her best friends, had the idea that they really wanted to communicate with her husband that had passed away. So they used this Ouija board. And this Ouija board comes with a lot of history. It comes with the coins that were over top of uh, a dead man's eyes at one point, which is kind of crazy. And it also has pictures of the guy with the coins on his eyes and the church in which the entire funeral was held in. This is a really, really, really rare thing to own. I bought this before anybody else could because of its history. There's a very famous person out there who has tried to buy this multiple, multiple, multiple times from me, but I will not let it go. But we're gonna go ahead and when I say we, me and all of you, because you're gonna be just as haunted and possessed by this as I am, because you watched me put it in the farm. So if you don't want to be possessed, like this video. Love you. Just showed up here at the farm. I'm gonna show you a major problem that we are running into right now. As you can see, there is a creek that runs directly underneath of this driveway. Now the big problem that exists right now that I'm looking at is gonna be a big potential problem. If we have one more good snowstorm this season, it's probably gonna wash this entire road out and we're probably not gonna be able to get back to the property. So I gotta bring the bobcat out and we gotta fix this. It doesn't look like much, but the erosion, you see the bricks and all of that, the road was continuously going that way and now we're just continuously washing away. So we gotta be able to figure this out, fix this. So it's a lot worse than it seems on camera, but it's like one more project that we gotta, we gotta get accomplished here. It's always something. I officially have a dumpster here now, folks. So 
Um, yeah, any of the trash content that I ever film here just goes right in there and uh, no one ever sees it, so I'm kidding. <laughs> Literally everything that we ever film here gets posted, whether it's good, bad, and different. And we got the Ouija board, so. Hey, Annabelle, sweet cheeks. We're coming in. When I say we, I'm talking about whatever the gets attached to this thing. Oh man, I'm gonna stir some stuff up tonight. I'm warning y'all in advance. This is gonna be a little bit of like an edgier video for me, but I'm pumped. I'm like, hey, it's like I'm actually becoming a little bit more comfortable every time that I'm here, so. Annabelle, you creepy little ass, you better still be upstairs. Oh man. Here goes nothing, all right. I don't know where I want to put this at. If y'all have any suggestions, comment below. Drop that below right now. And let's, uh... Oh, man. All right. Oh, God, I feel so weird taking this thing in here. Okay. Annabelle! I brought you a little present to play with. God, if she moved from this spot, I'll die. Okay, she's still there. We're good. We're good. All right, Annabelle, look at your new friend. Oh, oh shit, sorry, my bad, damn. Oh man, I didn't mean to knock you over like that, sweetheart. Whoops. Oh shit, oh I'm sorry, that was actually <laughs> a genuine mistake, I, I promise. <laughs> Please do not haunt me. <laughs> All right, we're gonna take y'all downstairs. Okay. 30 years old and playing with a doll for a living, this is crazy. Um, anyway, Annabelle, you're gonna stay right there. And the Ouija board, I'm not sure where to put this exactly. Um, <sighs> I'm thinking it's probably gonna be best if it's like here inside of the kitchen. This kitchen, for whatever reason, has the most activity out of all of the house, in my opinion. A lot of you say, oh, CJ, I don't, I don't think that. I think that I, I legitimately think like there's some wild stuff going on in this kitchen and Again, there, nothing bad has happened inside of this house that has ever been documented It's the property that we are completely surrounded by Native American grounds Which the energy just attracts more not to mention. I'm just putting this out there We have brought dolls in and you all have sent dolls from all across the country and here they are in this room and, and they continue to get added in here. Like we have some new dolls all the way at the top. We've got some down here. Um, it, it's just like, it's like the things that you don't think of, but like you're bringing residual energy in here. You're gonna get weird stuff happening. So no matter what, I don't know. I just, so I, I'm thinking what we do That was weird, okay. We're gonna put the Ouija board right there. And I think that's a pretty hot spot for it right there. And then you, you're coming with me because uh, we're going camping tonight. <laughs> um, poor Annabelle, she's probably gonna need a jacket, but it's not like I really care about you anyway, so. Um, Annabelle, you're gonna go camping with me tonight, so we're gonna put you in the Japan van. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and say that Annabelle's probably not gonna like what's coming up next, but um, anyway, I moved my truck right back here so that way I can use it as a, uh, a tripod, so let's go. Annabelle, you ain't gonna like this one, sweetheart. I really ought to tell somebody that we're doing this, but it's more fun not knowing. We could just, I mean, you and I could both just die right here. Day, you're ugly, I'm good looking. Don't really even matter. Little bitch. Oh. Oh. Hey, 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 hey. Stay on your own side of the fucking car. That scared the shit out of me, for real. Eee. 
me now oh my oh my fucking gosh <laughs> you little creepy ass that's what you get trying to fuck with me all the time oh man poor annabelle i, I left her right here with the gopro footage left off but man that was gold <laughs> oh my gosh wow well i think right here is a good place to camp that's the last place i turned the van off the door does not open correctly anymore that's kind of weird um, I mean, this poor thing, it's been put through some abuse to say the very least, but, um, I'm cold right now. I can't even lie to you. Now in the last camping video you probably saw, uh, was, was me cooking that that will not be happening tonight. I wanted to order DoorDash. I don't even know if it delivers out here. If it does, that's amazing. If not, then I'm going to have to go get something. So, um, I'll be honest with you. I don't even know what the DoorDash. So let's just see if, uh, it's even possible. I have some story time right now. Um, I'm going to throw this screenshot up onto the screen for you all to read. I don't even know how to explain this. The DoorDash driver, apparently, I didn't get the notification on my phone, so I didn't know this, or else I would have obviously been polite enough to go meet this guy or girl. I don't know. Um, anyway, the person drops the pizza off at the in front of the driveway and just leaves. And as you can see, uh, I don't know if the guy, watches, the guy or girl watches the videos or what, or if he actually like heard something or saw somebody on the bridge. That kind of freaks me out right now, I can't even lie. Pizza's pretty good, even though it's cold, but probably ants crawling in this pizza right now. I didn't hear the guy, I didn't see the guy, I didn't anything. And my phone never went off for like notification wise, so I really don't know. I kind of sounded a little weak on that text message because I mean, truthfully, I'm like a little nervous. The guy has never texted me back, guy or girl. It would make sense if there was a car park down there, but like typically like you can hear a car pull up. I got my spidey senses on today. So it makes me wonder and kind of question like i mean you all have seen the video of like the shadow figure that has run across the bridge to me that's like clear-cut evidence like did that guy see that i don't know what in the fuck Listen, I don't care what anybody says. This place at night ramps up. So when I went to go get the pizza, I just pulled the truck up to here. The Japan van's back there. Um, I'm not sure I'm gonna camp back there though. I, honestly, I don't even know what that noise was. But I'm finishing this food before I go in there. If I die, have a heart attack, or get possessed, I'm at least enjoying my last meal. Hello? I don't know why I do this. I really don't. I'm dumb.
I'm sorry I'm not even talking to y'all. I'm just trying to pay attention to um, behind me. Over here. Waste that piece of crust. That was a good piece of crust, too. I don't know what's going on, but there's some weird stuff happening. It's like this all the time. You provoke, nothing happens. And then it's like, boom, surprise, bitch. there folks that is the first solid move to pissing things off every time I do that I have some good luck I get good evidence some awesome stuff happens who knows it might happen again tonight you never know but that's what you gotta do you gotta piss it off sometimes right when do you do your best work when you're happy or you're mad let's think about it when you're mad hmm I might eat the rest of this pizza box to prevent myself from having to go in there any sooner I might even eat the cardboard on the box too. I'm debating that. Or I might just go home. Cause here I am again, freezing to death for no reason. And yet again, here we are with another dirty truck video because um, all it does is happens to rain, snow, everything else here in the wonderful state of Delaware. But, all right, so I heard the boom inside the house. So immediately what I'm thinking is obviously Annabelle is either Oh no, Annabelle's not even in the house, never mind. <laughs> Little witch, we're gonna leave her ass in the van. All right. All right, good news. The Ouija board is still intact. All right, so. Give you all a quick rundown slash history of this Ouija board. There's some stuff that maybe uh, I didn't even know about this when I first bought this. But the reason, like, I want to take this property and I literally want it to be like, I want the property to be filled with items that are, are weird or off the wall, maybe not so generic, haunted. Haunted would be nice. Um, the fuck was that? No fucking way! That was the fucking van. Get the fuck out of here.
Holy fucking shit. That was definitely the horn. Got my sleeping bag. I got everything in here. Okay. Hi, Annabelle. The hell was that about? You little psycho. You little psycho ass. All right. I'm, 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 I'm legitimately not screwing around anymore with this doll. I, I'm, I'm moving you up to the house. I'm moving you to the house right now. I'm mentally trying to wrap my head around the fact that a horn just blows again in this van. Could be an electrical shortage. I'm putting that out there right now. When I was sleeping in this van for the first time, the horn blows scares the shit out of me. I've not heard of anybody like even the people who have come and investigated the farm on their own and all of that like i've not heard the horn going off in the van nothing along those lines i put annabelle in the van forget about her quite frankly which i probably should and i go inside I'm trying to re I'm, I'm recanting my steps here i go over there towards the ouija board was talking about the ouija board heard a noise then the van horn goes off explain to me Explain to me how that... I don't... I don't know. I'm more than genuinely confused at this point. You wanna go, you wanna go inside? Where it's warm? Huh? Talking to a doll. Literally talking to a doll. You got all whipped around last time there, Annabelle. I think it's safe to say we're gonna leave we're gonna leave Annabelle right in here. Cause I, I, I truly don't think that you wanna be outside and I definitely don't think you wanna be in the van alone, so whatever. Agatha, Annabelle. Oh my gosh, my light in that van window just scared the hell out of me. God. I don't know what it is, but I just, it might even be the pizza for all I know, but my stomach is turning right now. Like for whatever reason, the Ouija board has got me like a little freaked out right now being in here. If it were summertime, I could show you. I have chills, not just because I'm cold, because I'm like genuinely freaked out right now. I don't even know why. Oh, fuck. 
and my camera is running out of battery. That's terrific. Don't know how that's possible. I don't know why I'm walking into this, but I am, because something's telling me to. Hello? I gotta get a battery. All right, there we go. And alongside a new battery, I have a new flashlight, and that's all that matters right now. Something I can see a little bit more with, and uh, quite frankly, I'm gonna blind Annabelle as soon as I go in there. Because <clears throat> if she can't see me, <laughs> she can't haunt me. Mm. Mm -mm. Always lock the door, always. Hey Annabelle, I want to show you something really cool. Look at that! Look at that! Oh. <laughs> I don't know why I get so much. Alright, so, um, Ghost Hunting 101. Antagonize, antagonize, antagonize. Especially if it's not a good spirit. If it's an evil spirit at least, so. <clears throat> Alright. So, in the last video, I had a comment that basically said, CJ, upstairs, it looked like in the basement there was someone, like someone's, like someone's head. Well, uh, obviously, you may be new to the whole entire, um, you might be new to the whole entire channel. It is this. It is literally a baby's face. So, the fuck is that? Hello? What in the fuck? Hello? Alright, well good to see Annabelle still. Still standing tall. My worst fear well, one of my worst fears, obviously a snake. I don't have to worry about that this time of year. But, gosh, damn, that bathroom is smelling like shit. <coughs> oh my gosh. Mmm. Mmm. Smell like straight dookie in here, folks. Straight dookie. Yeah, it is rather bizarre, but. And then a lot of people, y'all were commenting on the clothes and whatnot, like being left around. That was in the last video, and then the Merry Christmas stuff. That is stuck. 
Somebody said that that was moving around in the last video. I can I can guarantee you it was not moving around. Um, pretty much what you see is what you get in this room. But I'm waiting on one day where, where all these dolls are like sitting around right here and just like staring through my soul. I probably end up dying that day, but um, anyway, back upstairs. God, there is like a weird smell to this house right now and it's kind of hard to explain, but it is, it's kind of atrocious. So, um, I'll show you really quick. If you watch the live stream where Annabelle was over there, the camera sitting right up here, there was a cord that we ran up. We pulled that screen up a little bit, ran the solar power panel right out there onto the roof. Um, nice metal roof, by the way. So I'm gonna set my camera right here for just one second. And I wanna explain something to you. So in that video, oh man, I wish I, I wish this camera lens worked on the security camera because that would have been perfect because it would be getting uh, the attic, it would get the stairs, that little area, and then the closet. A lot of you, I'm gonna be doing another live stream, so if you're watching this video, look in the comments section or go to my community tab here on YouTube and look, but uh, I'm gonna schedule another live stream. I've got new cameras coming, or like better cameras, I should say. I don't know if they're gonna work for is uh, what I want. It probably has a little bit lower um, quality of video, but the longer battery life. So I'm, I'm kind of, it said that the battery ran out on the last live stream, just letting you know. But in that live stream, a lot of you were saying that there was stuff moving inside of this closet. I personally didn't see anything. And then someone said that there was a face popping out down the stairwell and people were seeing shadow figures walking across right here. Again, I personally did not see that. I haven't even really gone back into the live to look and confirm any of those details, but there was more than 10 people saying this. Like it was hundreds of people were agreeing they were seeing this crazy stuff. So, um, anyway, I say, uh, hey, Annabelle, want to play darts? Remember that dart from the last video, y'all? I'm gonna pretend like the wall is your face. Alright, well. Let me throw the dart. Like a real man. Okay, well, the dart is probably not pointing enough, so. Alright, so we're, we're gonna go experiment with Annabelle because, uh, quite honestly, like it just kind of seems a little stale here. Annabelle! All right, Annabelle. Here's what we're gonna do there, sunshine. We are going to take you and uh, let me think, where should we put you? Probably not back in the vein because you beeped the horn. Um, assuming that was you and not an electrical shortage of a 1980 Japan vein. So. Stairs or the attic? Annabelle, is that you making noise? Agatha, whatever your name is.
Holy shit, that was right above me. That was right above me. That would be right here. It would literally be at the top of these steps. Oh, geez, I never even noticed this before. Look at this, this is a extra piece of wood. Okay, for nothing, never mind. I, th I thought we were gonna find something good here, folks. Pleasantly unsurprised. Oh, God damn, there's a Uno card. I can't wait till uh, Annabelle uses that on me. Uno reverse. <laughs> she gets my life and I get hers and then she gets to antagonize me. Hang on, there's, it's, it's, it sounds like there's nothing. I have a couple of questions for Annabelle. I don't know if y'all can see her or not. She's still in here. Um, been kind of quiet, so that being said, we're gonna do an Estes method. And this Estes method is a lot of your all's questions. So we're going to ask Agatha Annabelle, Annabelle, Agatha, whatever the heck her name is. Um, we're basically gonna ask her some questions. Now, the Estes, or not the Estes method, I'm sorry. We're just gonna use a uh, regular spirit talker. And honestly, I'm gonna ask some rather deep questions that some of you may or may not agree with, but at this point, like, I'm, I'm going for it. And I'm here to piss her off. All right. Agatha, Annabelle, Annabelle, Agatha, whatever your name is. Am I sitting on top of you? How do you feel about this right now? I know that you're not a good spirit. I know that for a fact. There has been much, much, much proof of this. Obviously. <laughs> it literally just said obviously. <sighs> okay. So obviously you are not a, a good spirit. Let's let's just let's do that. Can you tell me what I'm doing right now? Can you tell me what I was just doing? Prove prove to us that you are real. Prove to us that you you mean business right now. your equipment. All right, now, Annabelle, Agatha, this could go one of two ways. <laughs> we like your equipment. I, uh, are you talking about this flashlight right here or a different flashlight? This one lights up the night and the other one spices up the night. <laughs> Which one are you talking about there? Oh fuck, I crack myself up sometimes. <laughs> you hear me down there? Which one? That was my foot, y'all. I just hit. So it's not like she's banging on this thing to get out. Don't worry. Okay, so you like my equipment. I'm gonna assume it is the flashlight that lights the night. Give me like a little bit more detail. Do you hate me? Do you love me? Do you appreciate me? Do you just not care for me at all? 
I mean, shoot me straight. You can't hurt my feelings. Trust me. I've been hated by much, much better people than you. All right, let me ask you something. The past couple of times I've been here and I've done the spirit box session with you, you have said that you don't want light. I'm not going to turn out my light because then my camera cannot see anything. What if I close my eyes? Would you like that at least? Building. Okay, so you want me to close my eyes in the building here. Okay, I'm going to close my eyes then. Alright, I'm going to keep my eyes closed. I'm going to continue asking a couple of questions here though. What made you attach or what made you compromise this property? Is it all of the haunted stuff that we brought in? Or were you here long, long ago? Come on, talk to me. Oracle. Who? I'm keeping my eyes closed, so I don't, I don't know exactly what you said, but Oracle? Okay, no clue what that means. Is that some like little code word for you or something creepy? Tell me exactly what you want to do to me. And that could go one of two ways, honestly. I mean, you could either want to hurt me or you could want to love me, who knows? But I want to know. You want to love me or hurt me? Which one? Three. Three? What the hell is the third option? You going to love me? You going to hate me? Ah! What the f***? What the f*** was that? I don't even know what the f*** that was. It was the loudest f***ing noise ever. I just spit on myself. What in the actual f***? Oh. My. There's something going on with glass. So that's fallen out of the cabinet. Now there's this glass thing broken right here. Oh, where the f did that fall from? There's no way it would have fallen out of that. Oh, maybe it did. I don't know. Does that cabinet move back? No. What? I, I, I am f***ing confused. Who? Jenny, 8675309. Okay. Oh, wait, hang on. Oh! Damn it. I genuinely have no idea where in the hell... That could have even like fall. I have no idea what the fuck just happened, but my camera just stopped and now I'm re-recording again. Bernadette. Bernadette from the Brick Hotel? It's you, baby. Bernadette. No fucking way. That is not a common name at all. Okay, I'm freaking myself out. Real quick. There was glass broken right there. 
there's been glass broken down there. Now there's glass there, and that thing fell out of the cabinet a couple of months ago. So obviously there's something with glass around here. Um, not 100% sure, but I'm getting the f out of here now because I've had enough. And to be quite frank with you, um, Annabelle, you wanna come out of there real quick, sweetheart, because I'm getting the hell out of here. Is that, huh? What the hell did that thing just said? Ice. Okay, what, what, what's, I, I mean, I guess that could look like ice, I mean, if you're a little, I don't know, uh, a little confused maybe, you could possibly think that's ice. Do you want me to slip and fall on it like it's ice? You're crazy. I mean, there's nowhere to even have ice around here. We got rid of the fridge, so what, what are you talking about ice? Are you talking about the glass being ice? Come on, I'm, I'm ready to get out of here because I'm freaking myself out right now. Hey, answer us. You get creepier every time I look at you. Okay, we're going to put you... Hello? Barn. Barn. You want me to go, what, 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 which barn? The big one or the little barn? Or can you tell me east, west? Like I'll know what direction to go in. Like maybe you don't know your east from your west. Who knows? Um, I, I'm genuinely getting freaked out right now. God, I don't even know where to stand. There's a, there's a window right here. There's a hallway there. There's doors. Every, like. Let me give you one more shot. Tell me which barn. The east, west barn, left or right barn. Which one? Hurry up. I don't have all night. I do, but I don't. But not for you. Which barn? Left, right, east, west. Which one? For everyone watching this video, I literally have zero clue where that fell from. You got 10 seconds to tell me which barn. I'm a woman. I'm a woman. Okay, that does not tell me which barn to go into, so it uh, looks like I'm going in both. Thanks. Oh. All right, here I am aimlessly going through this barn because I really am freaked out right now and I just, honestly, I would love to go to sleep. So I don't know what the hell I'm doing in here, but I'm here, so. The one thing that really freaks me out about this whole place is this chair. This chair has been here for a couple of years. Well, not a couple of years, I guess, but over a year, well over a year because I've owned the property. For over a year now and for whatever reason that chair sits there and overlooks the other side of the driveway and the creek that runs through here creepy yes why it's there couldn't tell you don't have a freaking clue do not have a single clue you gonna give me a sign of some sort you gonna I'm late waiting for the devil himself to crawl out of this hole one day. When he does, I'll probably piss myself, but it'll be okay. Oh! I don't even know where that came from.
Oh, my light, my light literally just got dimmer. Let's just go over to this other side, to this other barn. I'm not 100% sure what I'm looking for in these barns, but like the name Bernadette came through and that was actually from a video I filmed years ago. And everybody always said that I was haunted by Bernadette because of the interaction that we had together there. Um, <clears throat> she was a lady who haunts the Brick Hotel and um, like, I don't, I don't know. So I don't know if I'm looking for a name on like a wall written somewhere or, or what the deal is right now, but Hey Bernadette, if you're in here, give me a sign. I've never actually like explored, explored around the property it's during the daytime. And if you all want one of those daytime explore videos where I literally show you every square inch of the property, drop a comment right now. Comment below, let me know. I thought I just heard something, but I'm not sure where I was walking. I think it was in my imagination, honestly.
Oh, oh, oh. What the fucking shit with that motherfucker? You piece of fucking shit. Oh my gosh, my fucking light just went out. Holy shit. Can you turn my light out again? I saw it. I, don't know, I might be losing it, but it literally sounded like something was touching the keypad on that door. Like I kept hearing like, dee, 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 and it might have just been in my head. But if it wasn't in my head, then it was actually happening. 